Hi guys, here's Paula, the crazy ozone lady, also known as the hot trans Jessica Simpson, and uh, I'll be answering your questions today. And today's question may be a little technical. So I got asked, uh, Paula, I have an ozone generator and the ozone output is given in grams per hour. How can I calculate this into micrograms per milliliter? So here's the thing, you can't. For that, you need another piece of information, and that's the flow. Uh, and uh, so typically, in generators which the, where the output is given in grams per hour, the flow is not given in the technical specifications. But the machines do have a flow. They usually have an air pump, and they have to have a flow, otherwise no ozone will be coming out. Uh, but uh, it may be tricky to find it out, so you may have to contact the company to, to get that piece of information. But now let's assume uh, you got that, and so you found, uh, the f you found out the flow of the machine, and then you were able to calculate micrograms per milliliter. Uh, the, the, what you're going to get is micrograms of ozone per milliliter of air because those types of machine usually run on air. So what you get is micrograms of ozone per milliliter of a mixture which is comprised of 80% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. But the micrograms per milliliter in ozone therapy, they mean micrograms, per ozone, uh, micrograms of ozone per milliliter of pure oxygen. So although you have now the same units, they may mean different things. So I don't know how useful that information is, even, even though you have calculated the right units. So in general, as a rule, there are exceptions to the rule, but as a rule, ozone generators where the output is given in grams or milligrams per hour, it means that they're not intended for internal purposes. So those are usually industrial machines uh, or they can be used for um, you know, cleaning vegetables, or cleaning other, ozonating other foodstuffs, uh, ozonating your water, uh, or using that ozonated water as a cleaning supply, such things. But I do not recommend that people use ozone generators uh, for internal purposes. So, so in general, I suggest to stay clear of those types of machines unless you want to use them to ozonate your home or your car or what not, but not your body. So, so yeah, so that's the thing. You can calculate this once you found out the flow, but even then I'm not sure how useful that information is. Thank you for watching and see you next time.